Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetsticks.com and today we are going to do a quick hands-on comparison in between the latest Nokia Lumia 1520, the tablet device which has been launched today here in Abu Dhabi uh, from Nokia. Now when it comes to these two devices as far as the hardware is concerned, we have the same chipset that is the Snapdragon 800 chipset which runs on 2.2 GHz quad-core processor which is good. You have 2 GB of RAM on both of these phones and when it comes to the camera, here lies the major difference. That is we have got a 20 megapixel camera on the Nokia Lumia 1520 whereas we have got a 13 megapixel camera on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now if we compare both of these devices in terms of the overall build quality, one thing I would like to say is that the build quality at least the back cover finishing is actually a little bit better on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 as compared to the Nokia Lumia 1520. But again this is a unibody device so the battery cannot be removed from this device as compared to this one. And the battery which we have on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is 3200 milliampere hour, whereas on this one you get a 34 milli, 3400 milliampere hour battery which is higher in terms of the rating as compared to the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and again in terms of the overall backup as well it will give you much higher backup as compared to Note 3. When we talk about the camera, uh, the camera is 20 megapixel and the overall quality of the photos which you will get from this 20 megapixel camera is going to be pretty good. When it comes to flash as well, we have a single LED flash over here whereas we have dual LED flash over here on this device. As far as loudspeaker is concerned, the loudspeaker placement is actually at the bottom on this device where it is actually at the edge on the Nokia Lumia 1520. So in terms of the blockage of the sound, you might notice a little bit muffling on the sound whenever you place the device like this on a table but still you will be able to hear the sound whereas this will not happen with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 on which the placement of the loudspeaker is actually at the bottom side so the loudspeaker will not get blocked if you place the device on a table. Apart from this another major difference here is that the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 comes with this additional S Pen whereas we do not get an S Pen on the Nokia Lumia 1520. Now as far as display is concerned, we have the same high definition display on both of these phones. However, the display which we have, the display size which we have on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is 5.7 inch. Whereas we have got a display size of 6 inch on the Nokia Lumia 1520. And again, as you can easily notice, the display size is different and you can easily notice the difference in the display size once we place these devices side by side. And again when it comes to the viewing angles, viewing angles are pretty good on both of these displays. Although when it comes to the overall color reproduction, I would say that the color reproduction is slightly better on this display as compared to this one, which is something which we have noticed on a personal level. Again when it comes to the location of the buttons, we have the touch capacitor button which are there on the body of the phone and same goes over here. Whereas we have a physical home button over here as per the design which Samsung follows. If we take a look over here on this device, uh, these two devices from the side profile as you can see we have the trays for the sim card as well as for the micro sd memory card which you can remove the tray and you can insert these things into this device but again on this device we have the back cover which is removable the back cover is removable as well as the battery is removable on the note 3 whereas it is non-removable on the nokia lumia 1520 now as far as the thickness is concerned, we notice that the thickness of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is slightly thinner as compared to the Nokia Lumia 1520 which we can notice as of now. We are not sure about the exact thickness of these two devices but there is a difference as far as thickness is concerned. Uh, when it comes to the front camera, the front camera is a 2 megapixel camera on both of the phones which is capable of doing a high definition video chat. So in terms of the overall build quality, both of these devices are good. This one is a unibody device whereas this one is a device in which you can remove the back cover as well as the battery. You can replace the battery as well in case you want to. When it comes to the overall performance, both of these devices are equally fast in terms of the overall performance. We will also do a detailed comparison later on once we get uh, this device for review and we already have this one. So we will do a detailed comparison later on. But Till then, we would like to say that the build quality department, both of these devices are fairly good. This one is polycarbonate plastic build quality, whereas this is again plastic, but it is it has got a kind of a leather-like finish uh, as far as the back cover is concerned. It does look premium as well as it gives you a better grip when you hold the device in hand. Whereas on this device, it is a matte finish, so it, been, it will not get the fingerprints and scratches very easily. That is something which we can tell you. So unlike the glossy finish, this one is definitely going to be a better grip uh, when it comes to holding this device in one hand when it comes to the connectivity both of these devices uh, can be connected with micro usb port with for the 
with the PC for data syncing and charging but over here we see a USB 3.0 port so basically the cable which comes with the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 it is a USB 3.0 cable so it will support high speed of data transfer uh, as compared to this one which will be a low speed of data transfer because this will operate on the two USB 2.0 speed only when it comes to the top we have the nice finishing on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 with uh, metal lining as you can see a kind of a chassis which hold the front display and the body together and it does give the device kind of a premium look and also it gives you a better grip because of these thin lines which you can see again another difference over here is that we have an IR blaster on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 whereas we do not have an IR blaster on the Nokia Lumia 15520 when it comes to the placement of the power and sleep key the power and sleep key is over here and whereas on this device the power and sleep key and the volume rocker are both placed on the right hand side on this side we see the port for the sim card and the memory card whereas we do have the port for the sim card and memory card but they are inside the back cover the back cover can be removed on note 3 but we have the volume rocker over here on this side on the note 3 and when it comes to the placement of the loudspeaker the loudspeaker is actually at the back side which is not too good as compared to the loudspeaker which we have on the edges because this will not get blocked even if you place the device like this but this one will get blocked as far as camera performance is concerned camera performance is pretty good on both of these two devices but it is slightly better on this one the display is also slightly better on this one in terms of the viewing angles in terms of the overall color reproduction as well which we have just noticed so do let us know if you have any specific question for any of these two devices we would love to help you you can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you